Yo, what's up? Uh, my name is Axel. I'm 14 years old, living here in Sweden, Gothenburg. And my vision for the future is the dream of becoming a pro. The, like Hesher said, scoring last minute goals, winning titles. It's just an amazing, an amazing illusion that I have. How it would be to be a professional football player and earn money by it. Not the money, money itself, but the fact that you can play football as a living and don't care about anything else is just amazing and I'm willing to put in all the work that it takes and my struggle I have one struggle that I'm gonna handle and I'm trying to get over it but it's my confidence in games I can begin to shy away and get hesitated when I get the ball and I need to work on that so sometimes I can't perf perform the skills I can perform in my individual training and in practice with the team, I can't perform, perform that in the games. So that's one struggle that's annoying, but I will get over it, I promise. I'll keep working hard and it will come over time, I think. So that's my struggle, that's my confidence. Yeah, hope you'll take this video. Uh, Axel, first of all, Thank you for sending your video in. Um, you, you sent me a Snapchat, I think back in April, um, where your voice was a little higher. <laughs> and you said um, that you were really motivated to kind of take your game to the next level. And fast forward now to October, six months later, I know you sent me a lot of Snapchats. Uh, you have an Instagram page, we can put it up here, Football Hustle or something. And I know you've been training like literally every single day using the Factor platform as well. So first of all, well done brother for like sticking at it. Some people will just train for a few days and then give up or even a month and give up but you've been consistent and at your age at 14 years old that's really hard. Coming back to what you were saying about confidence, I've struggled with this myself, taking training into matches. How do you take training into matches? How do you become more confident? So the way I fixed this problem was I made sure that I would treat trainings like matches in that you know how matches uh, before a match you, you maybe sleep um, nine hours instead of seven or you get to the field early so you can visualize or all those kind of things that you do in matches you could do and apply to your trainings as well your individual trainings okay so I'm not saying get to the, the field an hour before you start training what I'm saying is that when you do your individual training give it your 110 percent best effort let's say you're you're at the field and you're just i don't know kicking the ball against the wall and you just go like this this and you see my body language right now this this that's not the body language you'd have in a, in a match what you want to be doing is taking the individual training seriously if you're doing one touch passes and ball ball looking over your shoulder making it as match like as possible so when it comes to game time it's like it's second nature to you. Yes! Yeah, well done! Yes, go! Go! Go to it! Boys and girls, that is the pace you need to do with these individual sessions. Breathless. Make it match like, demand that ball. Self talk. Martin, Martin. Uh, Yusuf, nice to meet you, man. Uh, you, I'm Moses, huh? Moses, I'm Yusuf, nice to meet you. Alright, uh, welcome. Thank you very much. What you do more? He's on my jewelry dish now. I will show you pepper. A real pepper. You know the hot pepper. I will show you a real pepper. And his butt! <laughs> <laughs> what? We are get in the house. He wants to learn from us, so this is a challenge. I'm going to teach him. Yeah. But I need to know also if he's ready for that. Because I'm 100% prepared. I've done everything. I'm just waiting for him to get out there. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the first step is to get the pepper. <laughs> what? <laughs> the hot one, the hot one from Afghanistan. <laughs> Let's go see him in his room. He's just getting set up, I think. Yeah. It's nice to show What's up, man? How are you doing? What's up? Are you okay with the camera? Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm a bit camera shy, but it's all good. That's I don't okay. mind. That's just, yeah. that's just extra. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very much, man.
more cooks uh, most of the time. Nice. I don't really know your taste, but I think you're gonna like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first six months of my 10 year plan it completely failed, so I had to go like, go to plan B. And what, what was like football on the agenda this time? Uh, this time? Yeah, it's number one. What you're talking about right now is like that your plan was to go study in university. Yeah, yeah. Usually, what football is good, or especially when they get out of school, like what I did. Yeah, it's just stop. I was like, focus. Nah, yeah. yeah, focus. And it's hard to do that when yeah. the, people, the people around you are so like, oh, I want to get into an Ivy League school. Yeah, exactly. It's like different, it's different, different goals. Goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I had to have that experience because you know, no, no one believes that you're going to become a footballer. You know, it's like buying a lottery ticket. So, like, after that year in university and after getting rejected for my visa, because I was supposed to go to uni this year, yeah. got rejected and everything. So in, like, in the UK? No, no, in Canada. In Canada? Yeah, they rejected my me. Goodness. I don't know, they're like, we don't believe you're going to leave. I'm like, okay, man, whatever. <laughs> I didn't reapply. Well, I mean, whatever. Yeah. No, I honestly believe it was like a blessing in disguise, man, because like I wasn't like my heart wasn't fully into this university, you know. When I got the rejection, I'm like, listen, man, I'm gonna go to England. I'm gonna go have a nice vacation, and then like I started searching up camps and stuff, and that's when I came across effective. Oh, you know, I searched up, I searched up effective training. The first thing I see, effective in the I'm like, oh. So you don't know what effective training. was. Yeah. You just typed no, in yeah, effective training. Yeah, I just effective training and then khalas, I just like saw it was the first link clicked it like I saw the in, in, uh, in residence <laughs> I went to my mom like yo mama listen and now we're here wow. so basically mm -hmm. the people that rejected your visa we need to we need to thank them or else you yeah. might not be here <laughs> exactly thank you whatever your name is I forgot his name I should remember his name <laughs> officer like I'm Craig or something Craig. <laughs> what what made you turn from University, is University football. football. Man, it's because like football has always been <laughs> my number one thing. Like since I was a kid, I've been told that I have skill by some people. So I'm like, why not work on that skill and work mm -hmm. on myself to try and win the dream, you know? Okay. Win the lottery. We, we in a, with the effective, <laughs> we don't think being a professional footballer or getting to the top of something is a lottery. We don't think it's a lottery. What, what, what do you think it is? It's a it's process. A process. <laughs> oh, okay. Many people think football, becoming a professional football is a lottery, but when you break it down and you look at every individual story of how they got to the top and everything, it's a very methodological <clears throat> process and which everybody goes through. There has to be preparation and mm -hmm. like there has to be the work put in obviously, mm -hmm. but the preparation and opportunity has to be met with luck at a certain point, man. Yes, yeah, some points. Yeah. But the harder you work, the more you work, People see how ambitious you are and they see the talent the more and then things you connect. Get. It connects. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And in this day and age with the internet with the internet and Yeah, there's ways to get mm -hmm. get around the world but like you you're here and I'm yeah. seeing you from Saudi Arabia. Like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But most of all if your heart is in it and you're fully in it and you're willing to work hard like over a number of months or years or however long it takes, your heart is always in it, you'll get today. We'll get where you're meant to be. Yeah. So, so it's a process. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what our, all our stories are? What? Do you know how, why we were all in this house? Why? It's because everybody followed their heart basically and their intuition to come here. Kobe, uh, from ages 10 to 13, he played for Bayern. Nice one. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> he was coached by... Alaba, David man. Alaba. David Alaba was like... I looked like Alaba. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but Alaba is someone that out of all the players in the Bayern Academy would put the most into yeah, making sure he would stay at Bayern, right? Yeah. And that involved coaching the team. It's like these extra things, the extra efforts, which paid off in you know, It's about the, the passion mm -hmm. part of the game, yeah. Yeah, and you can just see it like in his attitude, he was like the most humble player, player of all of them. Because mm -hmm. he was, at that time, he just like made his debut mm -hmm. for the first team and he was 17. Mm -hmm. and he just like... He was completely humble about yeah, it. Yeah, he's just like, on to the next one, let's keep my head down yeah. work, yeah. Tash is from the US. Nice. And he had a dream for a long time to live in London live in and country. play football here too. Yeah. He kept working at it. He, he used App Effective yeah. for three years. Yeah, yeah, since like, since it was an idea. Since it was an idea. We so Effective has been going on for three years. Yeah, three yeah. years. And before that, what I did, I had a blog. I started in 2009. And every week I would 
how my journey would go to basically the road of becoming fashion people. So I mean, I've seen it all. Yeah. Well, well, even though I'm young and everything, I've seen a lot of things. That, that I know that whatever I say to you is really the truth and it's not made up. Yeah, no, no, no. And everybody's here because we're 100% in the football. Football and, and effective. So. Exactly. If that's what True you're effective. effective. <laughs> <laughs> really Love cool. it. So if that's what you're all about, then you're in the right place. Oh, badge. I thought this had a badge. <laughs> How do you say your full name in Arabic? Uh, Yusuf Bokas. Yusuf Abdullah. Kareem Abdullah Bokas, reporting for duty. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I think for you too. 10 pounds. For what? Who, who is taking the challenge? Who? I'll take it. You take it. Yeah. 10 pounds to pass the ball into goal. Oh. Oh. That's 25 push ups. <laughs> That's the first one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go, keep going. Don't mess your head. Yeah, faster, 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 faster. And then sit down here. Faster. Oh, yeah, take a picture, take a picture. Yeah.